Hello, my name is uh, Delane Myers, and I'm a professor at North Dakota State University, and I'm here to talk about a nutritious cereal bar that has been developed by North Dakota State University. Uh, this cereal bar was uh, created by a product development team at North Dakota State, and it's called Antlog. Antlog means delicious in Mongolian, and uh, the fact that it's you are using a, a, a Mongolian name for this bar will have uh, more importance as I uh, discuss this further. Uh, the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization, uh, FAO, uh, awarded uh, NDSU's product development team a grant to produce and ship a uh, nutritious cereal bar to third world countries, uh, particularly areas that are, have particularly problematic issues with uh, malnutrition and particularly for children. Uh, so what the purpose of this cereal bar is to do is to help alleviate some of these issues, particularly with middle school children. Uh, in third world countries. Uh, and if you look at the map, uh, what you can see is that there are particular, there's uh, some areas of the world that have particular uh, significant problems with this. Uh, when you look at uh, areas of, of uh, South America, Asia, and Africa, you can see where there's uh, serious malnutrition, uh, up, upwards of over 20% uh, malnutrition, and even in some areas uh, over 35% uh, malnutrition. Uh, what the uh, UN and others are now calling this is food security. How do we ensure that uh, the people uh, everywhere have a secure food supply? And not only that, by food security, we're talking about availability of food, uh, we're talking about uh, the safety of food, and the nutrition, uh, uh, having nutritious food. And this product is one that uh, focuses on providing a nutritious food as part of food security. What is this bar? Uh, this bar is composed of, of uh, several ingredients. One is a fortified cereal blend. Uh, by fortification, we're talking about cereals that uh, have been have additional vitamins and minerals added to them. Uh, these vitamins would be B vitamins, such as thiamine, niacin, riboflavin, and uh, folic acid. These are all B vitamins, which are important for energy and also for cell development. And also uh, iron, which is a, a very important nutrient as well uh, for cell development, uh, for energy, uh, and also for the immune system. In addition to that, it has high fiber. Uh, we know that fiber plays an important role in the body in preventing uh, various types of uh, digestive problems, uh, digestive diseases, and so forth. And so we know that in addition to the energy that's important in food, fiber is also a very important component. So we wanted to keep that in mind when developing the cereal bar. The third is the pulse blend. Uh, these pulses are very important. Uh, navy bean, pinto bean, and yellow pea, along with lentils. Now this blend uh, provides us uh, a source of, of micronutrients, particularly zinc and selenium. And I'll talk more about that later, how important these uh, nutrients are, these micronutrients are. And then the, the brown sugar, corn syrup, peanut butter, and chocolate. Uh, these are primarily for sensory purposes. Uh, the corn syrup is for binding, for binding all the cereals together, the, the, the uh, pulse blend, high fiber cereal, and also fortifi fortified cereals. Uh, the brown sugar for sweetness and also for flavor. And then the peanut butter and chocolate for flavor, as well as the peanut butter also acting as a, as a binder as well. Uh, we know that uh, as scientists that we can make the most nutritious product uh, that, that, can, that we can make but if the consumer, and in this case middle school children, uh, would not be interested in consuming it, uh, it would not really meet our goal. So in addition to the nutrition side, it's also an important sensory side to make sure that it is one that uh, school children will like. Uh, this cereal bar has, is a good source of calcium. Uh, calcium is very good in, in, the, in the development of the bones and teeth, and obviously a key part of development. Uh, so school children, this would be very important for school children. In addition to that, uh, there are good sources of zinc and selenium. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, these are um, a very high uh, amounts in the pulse blend, which is why we added the pulses. Um, selenium and zinc are very important in cell development, uh, in development of the body, and particularly in the immune system. Uh, they are known to prevent a variety of different diseases, and this is very important for young children uh, in their sta stages of development to prevent a variety of different uh, diseases that can occur. Uh, they can be uh, subject to. And so these nutrients would help prevent that. 
In addition to that, iron, which is also very important in, in preventing uh, diseases, as well as energy, um, which is also obviously very important in development. So these nutrients that we are adding are the key nutrients in development, in development of the bones, uh, providing energy for growth, as well as preventing immunity or preventing disease uh, while the young people are growing. In addition to that is cholesterol free. Um, that's an additional nutrient that's not needed in this case, and so we think that's a, a value. Uh, it's low in sodium. Uh, uh, there's a we're very concerned about the amount of sodium that uh, uh, people are consuming, uh, even children. Uh, and so we're trying to keep the amount, the level of sodium low, even though we have uh, we believe a very uh, good tasting product. And then again, we as I mentioned, a good source of dietary fiber, which is also good for development, preventing uh, prevention of uh, dietary diseases. Uh, the the bar was developed uh, by a group of scientists who came together and were looking, was looking for a product that they wanted to develop that uh, would, be, uh, would have good nutrition, but the question is how would they do it, uh, and then how would they put this, this product together. Uh, one scientist uh, who was from Mongolia came up with this idea of a nutritious uh, cereal bar that would meet the needs of school children where he's from in Mongolia. which. Uh, has a serious problem uh, with malnutrition uh, of school children. Uh, the idea, therefore, came about that way. The question is then, how do you formulate it? How do you put it together? Uh, and so the, the uh, ideas of using fortified cereals and which cereals do you use uh, became very important. Uh, how do you get those nutrients into the food uh, using uh, the cereals that were chosen, uh, high fiber cereals that were also fortified? as well as the, the right pulse grid to get the zinc and selenium and calcium uh, levels that we wanted, uh, particularly zinc and selenium. Uh, processing, how do you put it together? Uh, it's one thing to put it together in a kitchen, but how do you make large batches of these, and large numbers of bars? And how do you cut them to the right size and make sure that you the right amount of nutrients are in each bar? So very much involved as far as the equipment and process. And then sensory. As I previously mentioned, um, it's not enough to make a product that's very nutritious. It has to taste good. And by taste, we're not only talking about flavor, we're talking about also texture, uh, having the right texture so with the, the right bite so it, it feels good in the mouth when it's being chewed, uh, as well as crunchiness. Uh, does it have a, a, a crunchy mouth feel as well? So all of those key components are part of sensory. So it was a very involved process. Uh, the scientists put a lot of work into this, and we believe that the bar that was has been developed uh, meets the needs of uh, not only the nutrition, but also the uh, sensory properties that uh, school children will like to consume. Uh, the future of the cereal bar, uh, now that we've developed this bar, uh, we'd like to uh, plan to go into full-scale processing. Uh, we hope to uh, develop uh, these bars uh, and uh, to package them and then ship them to places where there's uh, other nourishment problems, uh, particularly in, in uh, uh, where we're going to start is Mongolia. That's our first test market of the place where we're first going to put the product to try it out to see if it works. And if it does, and if the consumers, and those being the school children, uh, like that bar and it meets those needs, we plan to move it to other parts of the world as well where there's uh, particularly other nourishment issues. And so we're very proud of what we've done. Uh, we believe that we have developed a product that uh, meets the needs of uh, uh, school children. Uh, and meeting the needs of this whole issue of food security. So with that, I thank you for your attention and I would be welcome to, would welcome any questions.